Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This uh, video today is going to be a toy review of the 1960s, I believe, and maybe even 50s. I'm going to have to look into this one. Uh, the Battle Wagon. The Battle Wagon was actually sold in supermarkets, if you can believe that. Um, this one requires 4D size flashlight batteries, as you can see right there. Um, it had a signal light, rockets and torpedoes that fired, planes that catapulted, and cannons that fired. The whole thing was motorized and would roll across the floor. There has been some people putting videos on YouTube of this uh, battle wagon, but uh, nobody really broke it down into what it looks like. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Not sure if I have a uh, complete sheet on what all came with this, so. Uh, I might be missing some parts or pieces, but I'm going to do my best to give a good toy review on this battle wagon. And again, I'm, I'm currently working on another video of a, a broken down battle wagon that I found at an uh, antique store that I'm not, not refurbishing, but I'm repurposing. I'm going to make some changes to it, paint it up, and make it a little different. But uh, this one here, this one should be pretty close to complete, I think, when I bought it years ago. So we're going to take it out of its box put it all together and give you a nice review. Alright folks, so here she is, the battle wagon all set up and displayed for you. Hopefully those of you that are trying to rebuild this can uh, use this video as a, uh, a guide to help you finding any missing pieces or parts or how it's supposed to work. I did not put batteries in this, um, nor am I going to load anything because I'm not sure of the brittle plastic, if anything's going to break or if any springs are going to snap on me. So I uh, just decided to lay everything out for you so you can see it. I did find the uh, original instruction sheet, which was in there. Very nice, it was helped with uh, putting some of the parts together. And on the back of it is a uh, kind of a how-to manual. Um, the only thing is it didn't come with a parts list. Although by looking at the picture, I think I have all the parts. The only thing I have question on is how many figures came with this. This one has 12. Uh, the back of this sheet is showing six guys on that sprue to cut off i'm sure they probably gave you two sprues of six which would make sense all these figures um uh, you know you got four sailors guarding two sailors uh, with binoculars one uh one captain i guess and then the other uh the other five guys kind of arms out loading loading stuff missiles what have you so so let's take a look at this thing uh we got uh guns on the front these all rotate we have the uh, big guns, and when it comes to these, it came with only three of the shells. Only the top two barrels actually have springs in them, and you would push this button here to uh, fire those. Um, the bottom ones, as you can see here, there's it, it's empty. There's nothing in the bottom ones. If you push, put it in these ones, the spring actually starts right there, and you can't push any further um, unless you push the spring back. So. Um, just showing you that there. You have guns on both sides. Uh, moving up to the tower, we have the uh, signal, which came with a very, very small, um, where are you, bulb. You can see that there. And that would screw in there first, and then you would put that on. To activate that, there's a little button here, and you would push on this to... Uh, send your signals out uh, 
this does rotate, although it's not uh, battery operated. It just uh, kind of set up there. Moving down the uh, conning tower. Um, I guess the next thing would be these uh, side uh, torpedo launchers. This did come with three, and these are spring-loaded as well. Um, the rubber on these is kind of kind of getting old and tacky, and looks like it's going to fall apart. But you would you'd push these in here, and again, they are spring-loaded there, and you would push the button in back to uh, launch those. So, Moving further down the ship, you have some depth charges here. Those are attached. They don't come off. You have a catapult for two jets. This did come with uh, two jets. And again, these would be loaded on here. You can see there's a hole at the bottom of the uh, jet. And you would slide that on. And again, push it back. And this lever here would release it to fly off. It comes with two ladders. This ladder here goes up underneath this to the conning tower. It would go there. And this one is just a rope ladder that hangs on the side, which allows you to get down to your... Uh, your landing craft for for your marines even though there's no marines <laughs> that it came with i guess you could put your sailors in there but uh, yeah that's for that and then finally at the back of the boat we have i guess these are more torpedoes anti-aircraft i don't know surface air missiles i don't know what you would call these but these would go in here and there's two of those and they would launch off either side here so lots of play value in this lots of spring-loaded stuff again uh early 1960s i think i put a uh piece of the commercial that i found on youtube on this video so you can get a get a look see at that uh, i'm trying to think if there's any pieces that i'm showing. oh and the uh, figures like i said these 12 figures had a, like a little clipped base on the bottom and they would slide in all these little slots here so you would slide those in there uh and then they would stay when the ship was moving um they wouldn't fall off you know i mean you could set them anywhere but uh any little movement with the ship you know you're just gonna lose your guys so and there's plenty of clips all over where you can set these slide these figures in um all over the tower you know all these even the landing craft had uh, two on that so they're all over the ship, and uh, again, you would hook your figures in there, and they would stay while the ship is moving. The flags, those are repo flags. I, I had to uh, order those. They, they're, they're not the ones that came with it, but they are the copies of the ones that came with it. So um, I didn't just make those up. Those are actually the... Uh, somebody repoed those and printed them out, and I bought those on the Internet, so... Uh, the flag up top, and then you have another flag in the front. Only other thing would be the bottom. I can flip this and show you real quick. That's where the batteries went underneath. And these wheels would roll when it was turned on, and it would look like it was going up and down from the waves. And also, it had a little bell inside, so it was like dinging as the ship was rolling so but yeah um can't really think of anything else if you have any other questions comments concerns put them at the uh the bottom uh I'll try to get back with all the comments within a week um hope you guys like this and stay tuned for my next one which will be a uh, uh repurposing of a battle wagon that i came across that uh was in pretty bad shape so there was no finding parts for it i just made it into something else so hopefully uh that'll come out uh, within the next week again thanks for watching and as always keep on collecting